I can't start this video without the presence of my dog because she's clingy as heck. This is an update to the game pigs and also we've reached 400 subscribers. I'm so excited. You know, every 100 subscribers I crochet someone's pet and I do a theme for on Pixel Pets on whose pet I crochet. And the theme this time is hamsters. So I've got a bunch of small pets and I will show what off. I'll show off who all entered and their entries and you'll get to see whose pet I crocheted. But first I wanna do an update on the guinea pigs. And as you can see, my dog wants to be co-host to this video but put no input. <laughs> oh my god she's just rotten so update on the guinea pigs is they've been doing well i've been feeding them broccoli carrots greens uh, bell peppers stuff with vitamin c you know bell peppers they are very high in vitamin c so i give them uh bell peppers mainly every day their cage is looking more and more aesthetically pleasing as you would say instead of having cardboard boxes in there i now have like little hide fleece corners although i occasionally leave one box in there as a hide for the girls but i recently crocheted a tunnel for them to go in as a hide and i used wired hangers instead of bra wires it's also another diy you could do if you don't know how to make your stuff stand up. I also recently got fleece fabric for them. <laughs> Pico, do you have to be in my way while I'm talking? I recently got fleece fabric for them. It's um, a cherry pattern and a striped one. It's a striped one like this. It looks like Care Bears. Honestly, she could wear this as a scarf. Okay, or not. You can put your arm in it. No, just do it like this. Look at you. You're styling. I can make more pet beds. Um, as you see, I've made this. I also made this little hide as well. I tried to make a little backing to it. And Mika, let me, let me show it off before you smell like crazy. So they can hide in here. I also done these huge mats for them. So I hand sewn this. I hand sewn a few of them as something for the bottom of it. Instead of the liners I have, cause they're like washable puppy liners, but I have difficulty cleaning it with the hay. And I feel like this will be a bit easier. Also the liners aren't absorbent. Gay pigs pee a lot so I need something that's more absorbent. Sewn these on the sewing machine. The ones that I had to hand sew was the stripe fabric and then I have a cherry fabric. I also made this. There was a wire in it but it fell out. I gotta put it back in. But it's just like another hide for them. You know there'd be a wire here and it would stand up like that continue in every day to make them more and more every morning they scream at me for me to feed them they're rotten but still really shy <laughs> i have a gofundme for them as well if you guys don't know you know i rescued them and I have a GoFundMe for them because my boy is not fixed. One boy, two girls, right? They were all in a cage, small area. Uh, none of them were fixed. Ability of the two girls being pregnant. And I need to get him fixed because I, I don't want any more guinea pigs or pregnancies in this world as there's already so many. Link in the description for the GoFundMe. I appreciate all the support. I appreciate all the donations. It is so helpful and it is so kind that you guys donate and I appreciate so much and so do they. <laughs> I'm sorry. Nico. You're just creeping up in the shot. I'm sorry. You gotta calm it down. Look at her. She's got pretty eyes. How to whose pet I crocheted. 
Yes, I know. Whose pet I crocheted? Miko's already trying to smell the crochet pet. Whose pet I crocheted? I had to pick through all entries, which I'm going to show all the entries now so you can see all the cool pets I had to pick from. Alright, so now that you looked at all the entries, I picked this one person in particular because I like challenges and I like mentally frustrating myself a lot when I crochet my difficult pets. But this one was easier because I'm doing them smaller so it's more affordable. If you want me to ship your crochet pet, I only charge materials and shipping. This is just a hobby for me, I'm not putting in the time as a price. Whose pet I crochet you're getting it really cheap compared to other stuff I make on my Etsy which if you want to go check out my Etsy link in the description as well. The person's pet I crocheted was Little Grains. Their pet is called Rose and I thought their pet was really interesting because where the face is at it's a flower. I have it all the time where my mom she tells me how are you gonna crochet this? I can't even tell what's going on with all the pixels and sometimes I do have a hard time figuring out what patterns go where but I try to do my best and depict what I see and sometimes I like to do a little sketch so I'm gonna show you the sketch first before I show you the crochet. This is just a quick sketch I did of the pet. As you see I, I it might look different from the original. There's some things I put in there. I don't have a light green, so I just tried my best with what yarn I had. The sketch, it's not the final product of the crochet. There's just some things that don't look good on it and I change up when I'm in the middle of making it. So now to reveal the pet is this. And look how cute this is. You got the little tail, you got the bows here and on the ears. And the flower, of course, on the face. And this is it. See how small this pet is? It's almost the size of one of the guinea pigs. Maybe a little bit bigger, but it's very small, but I think it's very cute. Hope you guys like it and little green i hope you and like this pet if you want to message me on pixel pet i appreciate all the support i hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed this cute little crocheted pet because this is absolutely adorable thank you everyone who submitted and thank you little grain for sending in your pet your pet is absolutely adorable and if you want to message me about the price you can and i appreciate all the support Go check out the GoFundMe for the Game Pig's backstory. Those are my little rescues that I did. Check out my Etsy shop as support as well. Thank you again for all the support. And see you guys in the next one.